Hey guys, and welcome to the Sleeveless Fisherman. Today I'm going to be going over my personal top five favorite lures to catch northern snakeheads. Um, if you're going out, these are definitely five must-have lures for sure. These produce me the biggest snakehead and the most snakehead. In fact, they've caught all my double-digit snakehead. And um, if you're sitting here wondering, like, oh, who is this guy? How, what does he know about catching snakeheads? Let's see the proof. Now that we've gotten that over with, and hopefully you're a little less skeptical, let's get into the five top snakehead fishing lures. Alright guys, so the first lure I'm going to show you today, and number five on my list of top five snakehead lures, is going to be a buzz bait. Uh, it's, a great, it's a great top water bait. When it starts getting warm, they start feeding, they start hitting that top water. You know, that gets a lot of vibrations, a lot of noise off the front blade. Um, you get a lot of light reflected off of it as well. Usually you'll run some type of trailer, whether it be a fluke or a paddle tail swim bait, soft plastic, on the end there. And for this, you want to just kind of cast out. As soon as it hits the water, you want to start reeling. It'll get that, uh, get that blade spinning, get them clacking together, making some noise. Um, you know, flashing some light, getting some vibrations going, getting a lot of action on the top water to let them, the snakeheads know there's something there that they want to eat. Overall, great topwater bait. Um, if they're hitting topwater, you know, obviously topwater is a lot of fun to fish. Just in general with any fish, especially snakeheads, when you see them launch out of the water after one of these. Alright, number four on the list is going to be topwater frog. Now some people might be surprised by this. Um, I know on a lot of other people's lists, you know, this may be number one. Um, it's number four on my list because it is, they have to be hitting top water. The water and the conditions have to be right. You know, you want to use this around lily pads or tall grass or duckweed or something. Um, not really a hard structure bait early and late in the season. You know, early spring, late fall. They're not going to be hitting this as much. So it's kind of a seasonal lure, but it is a lot of fun, and in the right place, they do love to eat them some frogs. And for these, again, to fish this for snakeheads, different ways you can cast and just reel it slowly, or you can twitch it, give it three twitches, stop, let it sit for three seconds. Twitch it three more times, stop, let it sit for three seconds. Um, so, you know, again, it's, it's fun to watch them smack these things on the surface, but the reason it's number four is it, it is a seasonal bait, uh, more or less. You know, the has, conditions have to be right, everything has to be right for them to want to eat this. Number three on my list is going to be a spinner bait. Love the spinner bait. Underwater bait, you know, you get, again, you get a lot of light flashing off of these. A lot of vibration through the water. Um, you can work it fast, you can work it slow. Um, you can run a trailer off the back here, like I said, either a fluke or some type of uh, soft plastic paddle tail or something like that. This one, I do have a trailer hook on because snakeheads do short strike quite a bit. Um, and uh, yeah, just an overall bait. Cast it out, you can let it sink to the bottom work it towards the bottom a little bit faster, work it up more towards the top so you get more levels of uh, fishing. It's not just, you know, towards the top or bottom. Overall, great bait. Number two on my list is going to be 
a Texas rigged soft plastic weedless soft plastic either a fluke or paddle tail swim bait anything like that um, whether it's weighted unweighted either way depending on the conditions you know what you're what you're fishing in whether it's hard cover whether it's deep shallow grassy whatever um, you can cast this out like the weighted one cast it out just reel it in slowly uh, or you can uh, just bounce it off the bottom both of these cast them out let them sink just kind of bounce them off the bottom or you can slowly lift them and let them sink because just like bass they are usually going to hit it on the drop so you can slowly lift them up let it drop slowly lift it up let it drop bounce it off the bottom cast it out just reel it in slowly you know depends on uh, depends on how they're acting that day but when they're finicky about eating anything else any of those other lures typically you can get them to eat one of these all right and the moment we've all been waiting for the number one lure on my list for catching the most the biggest northern snakeheads in any conditions is the chatterbait so reason being this is number one on my list one I've caught my personal best on this I believe every single double digit snakehead in weight that I've caught has been on a chatterbait reason being it's so versatile I mean you've got this it's making noise in the water it's chattering it's reflecting light and then you've got um, you know the trailer behind it all this motion behind it you can work it fast you can work it slow towards the bottom you can uh, jig it just like a jig I mean you really you know chatterbait is really just like a jig with a blade on the front um, you can bounce it on the bottom like a jig you can lift it up and lower it you know so it's chattering as it goes up and then going back down they'll grab it on the uh, grab it on the drop just like a bass um, and it seems like no matter what condition it is either chartreuse black and blue bluegill color crayfish color you know that's that's all up to you color day conditions but this has been my biggest producing lure for sure hands down for northern snakeheads um, and I run it with um, really any type of trailer um, you know it could be a fluke could be a fluke or a paddle tail swivel tail like this um, but this this has been by far my biggest producing lure for northern snakeheads hands down the best also a couple other lures that'll work too I mean snakehead they're a lot like bass uh, they eat during the winter so you can catch them year-round you know you just have to change it up you use pretty much the same lures that you would use for bass um, the key I would say is to just work everything slow they're not quite as aggressive and active as a bass um, so all the lures you want to work slow the chatterbait I reel in just fast enough that you can feel that blade start to vibrate on the tip of your rod uh, same with the spinnerbait buzzbait you have to work a little faster to keep it on the surface um, frogs again I usually do one two three let it sit for three seconds one two three and they'll usually hit it during the pause um, other baits that are good also minnows under a bobber are always a good choice that's not a personal preference for me um, I'm not a big bobber fisherman I don't like fishing with bobbers I don't like that you just put it on a hook cast it out and then you just sit there and watch I like to actually physically work my lures to catch my fish um, just makes it more fun for me that way you're not just sitting there catching a suntan um, also topwater poppers um, you know, little Rapala baits, swim baits, anything will really work. Those were just my top five that I have had the best luck with, in, uh, in my opinion. But I would say, if I had to say one thing to anybody for snakeheads, is slow. Slow, slow, slow. Work the lure slow. When you get a hit, count to three before you set the hook. That's probably another one of the most important things when it comes to snakehead fishing is uh, I hear people all the time like oh I, I keep on hooking them but I lose them you know I set the hook and, and it comes out what am I doing wrong I can't, I can't actually hook the fish 
They bite it. I can't hook it. Count to three. You're reeling in your bait. You feel the hit. Count. One, two, three. Set the hook. Set the hook hard. Same thing with frogs. You see one smack a frog or top water? Count. One, two, three. Set the hook. You gotta, you gotta give them time. Like I said, a lot of times they'll short strike your lures. So you gotta give them time to actually eat it a little bit. Um, you know, they, uh, a lot of times they'll just bite under the hook. You gotta actually let them get it in your mouth. Count to three. Feel a little bit of pressure and set the hook. And you want to set hard. They have really hard mouths like a bass, but imagine even harder with teeth and a head like a pit bull. Um, you really want to set the hook. I can't stress that enough. As hard as you can, really. And um, yeah, work the, lure, work the lure slow. When they do hit it, count to three, set the hook hard. Those, uh, those are the best key tips I can give you to fishing snakehead and my top five lures. So if you're going out there and testing your luck, I wish you luck and I hope this helps.